Dadaab, in the north of Kenya, is the largest refugee camp in the world. Over 500,000 people, mostly from Somalia, have come here to escape war and hunger. The drought, which hit the Horn of Africa during the summer of 2011, has led to dramatic increase of new arrivals. 1,500 each day for the worst times of the crisis. For the weakest ones, for people with disabilities, sick or isolated, it is often extremely difficult to find their way inside the camps and to receive the support they need. Therefore, Handicap International identifies, guides and accompanies these people right from their arrival. Our teams make sure that they promptly access humanitarian aid. Handicap International sent an emergency response mission to reinforce its presence. Mobile teams have been set up to reach the most vulnerable people everywhere in the camps. These mobile teams hand out mobility devices and deliver rehabilitation care, such as physiotherapy sessions or psychosocial support. The first goal of this action is to improve the autonomy of people who are often in a situation of extreme vulnerability. Like Ruby, most of Handicap International staff is Kenyan and came from the capital city, Nairobi, to bring assistance to the refugees in the camps. Ask her if she has a mother and where is the mother. Okay, how are you, Malak? Ah, how are you? Where is your mother? Where is your mother? She's telling me I have a mother, but my mother is around. I ask her where is her, she's in the market. And the mother is seated right next to her? Yes. Which means she does not even recognize that that's her mother. We associate with others. Aha, okay. She's in the Vivian is also a member of the emergency team. She takes part to the training of Somalian refugees who will work with the mobile teams. As physiotherapist, she assists the people needing care to regain mobility and autonomy, or simply to avoid seeing their condition worsen. A large part of Vivian's work is to train family members to perform simple rehabilitation exercises that they can repeat as often as possible. But in addition to medical care, the action of our teams allow some of the weakest refugees to feel that they are listened to and looked after. Simple encouragements and benevolent attentions are often opening the way for hope and moments of joy. Tell them that they have to do the exercise every day, all the time. So when we come back, he already improves, okay? And then we can do something more. <laughs> In most cases, the aim of those exercises is to allow people to learn again how to do simple things and to regain step by step the self confidence that will allow them to become more autonomous. We're going to stand. Look at me. Okay, here? Okay, and this. Okay. 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 Okay.
she can do a lot of things yeah. by herself. Yeah. Try as much as possible to let her do the things. Allah yeah. 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 She has yeah. pain or yeah. she's yeah. weak? Yeah. No pain. Weak and also pain. Yes. Hi. Hi.